All right, so I've made videos on this record throughout the process. I've been working on it on and off for probably a year now. <clears throat> but around 1500 milliamp 2S. This cab was a JJRC. Had exhaust, didn't look quite like this, but that's the main reason I got this truck. I got it as a four wheel drive toy grade single axle with the little bed that I made a trailer out of and sold, but I put the uh, upgraded, well, it's on a W, uh, it's actually still on a JJRC frame so that I could use uh, the lift shackles rather than the seesaw style rear end. It's all upgraded with lift shackles on all three axles and uh, got the heavy duty steel leafs for the weight it has to pull with the other trucks the wheels it's got the black aluminum aftermarket wheels the tires I actually made out of the WPL tires cut these in two spots very time consuming but it saved a lot of money because I was able to buy a whole bunch of these tires a lot cheaper than the D-A-K-A, -A, whether it's DACA or DACA, whatever the aftermarket tires. I kind of like the way these look, too. So, just cut uh, five sixteenths of an inch out of a whole bunch of these and made dualies, eight of which ended up on this truck. It's got a single speed gear reduction with a 370. Uh, this is a RBRC. Um, drive shaft. It's a WPL aftermarket uh, metal drive shaft. This, I uh, can't remember who manufactured it, but I bought these. I think they're actually for one tenth and then uh, cut it down myself. Made it a whole lot shorter than it comes because I wanted to have full travel on both of these axles where they didn't lock up and nobody made one the exact right size for my setup here added a pencil hitch um it's a jjrc bed that i cut down lengthwise to give me the clearance i needed and then uh, took two of the headache racks off of two different beds and fabricated this with little plastic eye beams that were part of the uh sets that these army men came with to give me something stable and solid to mount my wiring and mount the lights and then mounted this uh one tenth winch this is actually the part of the tail boom off of a 450 size radio control helicopter which i have plenty of those spare parts laying around uh, these are just carbon fiber rods with ends that are actually a tail boom support off of a 450 helicopter and came in here and just uh pieced and parted together some stuff I thought looked pretty cool like hydraulic cylinders of course these are just mock cylinders but I do have the capability of loosening these two bolts and the way I've got this fabricated I can loosen these two bolts down in here and pivot this down touching the bed to change my angle or whatever fabricated this it's mostly just uh, leftover pieces and parts of plastic and wire and uh anyway thought it was pretty cool to have a ladder that could fold out of the way make it look more scale realistic and not lose any of my ground clearance um this bed cut down many popsicle sticks sanded and pieced them together to make nice uh joints and then came in and weathered it and Made it look like age two by sixes with the bolts in it for the old school bed. Little boxes that come with the aftermarket parts, like this fire extinguisher. I took two of them, painted them up, and keep them on there to keep my chains and stuff in. This was a locker that came with one of the army men sets. I cut it down and drilled air holes and put a magnet to hold the door closed and got it mounted up there so I'd have more room for electronics put the big 
320 amp e ESC with the 2 amp BEC run all the electronics that are on this truck took another one of these beds and cut the fender in half and widened these fenders so that they actually look more scale and the tires don't stick out so far past it I think it turned out pretty good fabricated this out of uh, a winter tube and some uh, channel aluminum and some old helicopter parts a sling I think it turned out pretty well it steers and does a pretty good job of lifting these trucks with uh, without having to do it manually if I can get it hooked back on there sorry guys got the camera all over the place all right so it's got a DOS micro uh, aftermarket sound system uh, seven channel hobby porter radio and receiver I could actually use more channels with all the stuff I'm running on this I've got a uh, small ESC just to run the winch plus that ESC plus two light controllers plus these lights and I was also running a two-speed servo I had to eliminate that because I had nothing but trouble out of gearboxes on this truck so there's what I ended up with I came in and put four fuel tanks on here cut them down got the outside off of one and the inside off of another to widen them so that they're as wide as the cab I think that looks much more scale and fills it out gives it a cleaner look done so much detailing on this truck I'm sure I'm missing something but, uh, the sound the speaker is uh, actually mounted up inside the tire as the rim hidden away I thought that was a pretty good place to hide it and the sound bounces off the back of the cab sounds pretty good I've also got a switch hidden three-way switch hidden inside the jerry can that was the original winch control for this before I put the ESC on it but I'll probably end up switching that to where it's front and rear winch and put another winch on the front to replace this dummy winch I mean I've got this heavy-duty bumper with the hooks and the rubber push bars uh, while we're up here that I put uh, blacked out the front of these LEDs and painted the silver and then put a lens over it that's how I get that halo effect I realize that's way modern for one of these trucks but I thought it looked kind of cool and uh, that's just some uh, aluminum screen super glued in there for the old rustic grill this thing's got uh, probably a hundred coats of paint on it it's actually a cheap camouflage paint for boats that's uh, the final exterior coat and then hand rubbed I probably spent 10 hours just rubbing the paint the didn't even want to wet sand it so I wet rubbed it to get uh, that drab color I was trying to match my old helicopter that I built 10 years ago I think I got pretty close so, changed out the shiny aluminum wheels for the black aluminum wheels the shiny aluminum wheels now are on that truck and that project truck up there oh anyway the truck I was pulling is a project I just started WPL it's gonna be my heavy hauler more to come on that one I hadn't done a video on the wrecker in a while I hadn't done any since I joined the groups so I wanted to get a video out there feel free please leave me a like or a comment oh yeah we can't forget the dog oh boy's got his dog in there with him and the windows and wipers that's just uh, plastic off of a blister pack and just left over pieces of uh, sprig or sprue or whatever you want to call it where plastic parts come connected to each other so you can do a lot with very little if you got a little bit of imagination anyway that's my record hope you enjoyed the video have a great day